we've already talked about this Salesforce Inspector Chrome extension before. Uh, and last time we talked about it, uh, I focused on, at the time, the main reason why I used the tool. And that, of course, uh, was so that I could see all of the fields on an object, even if they're not on the page layout, see their data, manipulate the data if I need to for some testing, as well as traverse relationships to other related objects, see their data, uh, et cetera, which is very handy. It has not stopped being an important uh, reason why I use this tool. However, um, as I've used this tool more, I've realized uh, it has some data export features that are very handy that I want to show you now. Um, I've typically, when I want to quickly see some data in Salesforce, I've used the developer console uh, by going up here and clicking on developer console. But the biggest limitation with the developer console is if I'm writing a SQL query, query data in Salesforce, I have to know the exact API names of all the fields that I either want to have in my results or that I want to use to filter my results, which can be difficult, especially when I'm working on a CPQ project that has all kinds of fields where the API names are different from the labels and it can be very confusing. I've realized though that the Salesforce Inspector tool comes with a data export feature, which I thought maybe that'd be more like data loader, uh, but uh, it actually has some pretty nifty features. So you'll see I already have a, uh, a uh, query here. Let me uh, erase this and start over. So uh, it's similar to the developer console, right? And that you can uh, write a SQL query here um, and it will export the results. Uh, it saves your query history if you want. Um, you can even use the tooling API here if you want to uh, query that just like you can in the developer console. But a big reason why I've moved to using this is that it will suggest fields for you as you're typing your SQL query and tell you if you're typing in a field that doesn't exist. So for example, if I just say select ID name from product, so first of all, notice as I start typing in the object, it's showing me, hey, here are some objects that, that seem to match what you're typing. So hey, have you ever done a uh, SQL query where instead of typing in product two, which is the API name of the product object, you try to type in from product, which is what you probably expect the object to be called? It'll tell you before you fail, before you run your query and it fails, hey, we there is no product object in Salesforce. It needs to be the product two object. If I click on this, auto fills it in with product two. So then I can say where and start typing in a field name, right? So let's let's say, you know, typically I, I do a lot of queries where I'm filtering off of a CPQ specific field, which has the prefix SBQQ. I could start typing that in. You'll notice, hey, it's suggesting fields for me down here. And I could say, hey, what is that? What is the name of that the subscription field that I wanted to query? Subscription term is what it's called, where subscription term equals 12, as an example. Um, so if I click this export button here, it'll export all of my results down here, uh, which I could then very easily, now this is probably a little bit of a, a weird quirk of how this tool works. You would think, okay, do I click a button to download it? What it actually does is gives you, gives you some buttons to copy this export result uh, into a format that you can paste into a file. So what you'll probably do most commonly it's just click copy Excel format right here and then open up a new uh, blank Excel workbook. Just put your cursor in the first cell, paste the results in. It's going to fill it in. You'll, these will be your columns. These will be your rows. All the data will be in there in each individual cell. You can save that as a CSV file and then maybe uh, run an update on it, insert, et cetera. Um, so that's pretty quick here, but this is a handy tool that you can use. Uh, to query some data uh, out of Salesforce, which will auto-suggest field and let you know if you've typed in an API name of a field that's incorrect.